Hey guys, welcome back to the next episode. Now we've had a very busy cup match. It's been the cup match holiday in Bermuda. So we've had Thursday, Friday off. We've been out diving solidly for the last four days straight. We've been up at Dive Bermuda Grotto Bay for a few dives and we're down at Dive Bermuda at Fairmont, South Hampshire now. As you can see, our coast is just behind me. Finally back in on that boat after quite a while because I've always been up at Grotto recently. And it's great to get back out on the big boat to go explore some wicked dive sites. And as you can see, just popped up here. Holly is teaching a open water course now, doing confined open water one to five. So she's popped up there. And we have actually been crazy busy recently. We've just done also a podcast with uh, Larry Holden from Trinidad Tobago called the Deeper Blue Holden Podcast. So I'll put a link down in the description below so you guys can check that out because it's now a Spotify and Apple playlist. It was great to actually speak to him. And as always guys, let's jump in and let's go see what we can find. He's going for the He's going for the boat. Oh, he's got, he's going for the boat. <laughs> Are you guys ready to dive with this one? So excited. Let's do it. Do it. You ready? As we get started with the wicked diving of Bermuda Cup match, multiple days of diving, we drop down on the Palalian shipwreck. I know this has come up in a few videos recently, but what I love here when we're cruising along is look at the breaker, the way it's sitting there with the sun shining through. Just spectacular. It just makes a dive when you see these kind of reefs. Just stunning in these type of conditions. And as we drop down under the Palalian shipwreck, coming under the underbelly of the wreck, we can see the way it sits on top of the reef, as I said in a previous video. And then you look up and you see the triple expansion engine block just above, sitting there almost looking like a conning tower. As you can see, Holly's cruising along here with the two Andreases, teaching them the advanced open water course doing the wreck adventure dive. Weldon is a paddy and bass diver and he is out in the water bus today. And you can see Dave, who is actually Holly's dad, waving there because he's just seen Holly cruising around coming next to him. And before we know it, as always in this dive site, we come across lionfish. And Marcus catch a lionfish, clean shot, another one was taken off the reef, easy in the sand compared to Dr. Dave's, up in a tiny hole here as he is wedging himself into a hole to try and catch another lionfish and with luck he's actually caught the lionfish and removed it, really pleased with himself, you can see he's happy cruising down, he's off to go try and reposition the lionfish on his spear in the sand. Typical Dr. Dave tactic, and he's about to put the cap on the spear, on the end of the spear there. And I was a bit cringing because his fingers were getting a bit close to the spines, but he is a diving doctor on the island, so if you ever get injured in diving and he's on the boat, he's the perfect man you want to see. So you can see Marcus and Dr. Dave have both caught lionfish, and Weldon is just filming them just now. As you can see, they are chuffed as we start making our way back towards the boat. When we come back up to the winch, what I love about this spot is you see all these wee yellow wrasse, their female blue head wrasse, cleaning wrasse, and the parrot fish are actually lining up to be cleaned to get the parasites off them. So this is actually a really cool cleaning station, and at this shipwreck, there's multiple cleaning stations. So you just look around this dive site, and there's always yellow fish, cleaning wrasse, cleaning, Parrot fish, barracuda, angel fish, it's really cool. Even smooth trunk fish, as we see here. As this smooth trunk fish has suddenly taken interest in the lionfish on Marcus's spear. And you never know what you're going to look around. We have two 
white spotted filefish who are almost in a mating frenzy at the time. Pretty cool to see them on the reef as well, we don't see them that often in Bermuda. And as we cruise back across to the engine block, we can see the way it just sits there looking like a conning tower with ladders and just wreckage everywhere. Now this wreck has really been beaten up by hurricanes over the years. It's been down for almost a hundred years, so you can imagine it's taken a battering over the years with multiple hurricanes. But I really hope you enjoyed coming out in this dive with us. We have some clips coming up after a short boat ride back to the dock of us diving with Dive Bermuda at the Fairmont Southampton, guiding on my favorite dive site in Bermuda, Tarpon Hole. So definitely stay around in the next few minutes to catch those clips because you will not be disappointed. Okay, guys. Just a couple. <laughs> All good, world. Enjoy that. Yeah, nice. Can I take me out, man? He <laughs> <laughs> just swam me, just, just, just sat on that rock over there, just sat there. Not at all. As I drop down with James from North Carolina to guide him round my favourite dive site, Tarpon Hole, he was not disappointed because we had horse-side jacks everywhere under the arch. Cruising around us, we had grey snappers, Bermuda chub, we had barracuda in this dive, but just look at the way they are just cruising around us. Absolutely spectacular conditions after the past few days of rough seas the visibility has been getting better and it's just going to get better and better over the year before we have the coral spawn and algae bloom but i really hope you guys enjoyed coming out diving with us on the bermuda cup match but as always guys thank you so much and we'll see you next video